girls, Miss Roberts, and I'm here from the downtown art room. I know a lot of you guys think that I stay at school all night, but I don't. I have another art room. This is where I come to play. So today we're going to work on our birch trees. We're going to add some shading and learn lots of cool new shading techniques. So here we go. Let's get started. So the first step with our birch trees today is going to be to remove all the tape. So this is a tough process sometimes because our tape sticks better than we want it to. So we just tear the tape off and if you start seeing that you're ripping up a whole bunch of paper with your tape, the best thing that I've found to do is just to rip the tape from a different direction. Okay, after we have all the tape off. The next thing that you have to do is you have to start thinking about what material you want to use. There's um, crayons, we've got oil pastels, uh, colored pencils, sharpies, and just regular lead pencils. So there's lots of different things that you could possibly use. We're going to be doing some shading in our project today and different materials work different ways. So let's just play with a couple of the materials first. Um, color pencils are easy and they're an easy thing to learn hatching with. So we're going to talk about hatching first. Hatching is just making a series of marks in one direction and you can add more marks in one spot and by doing that you're making your area look like it's shaded from dark to light so everyone go ahead and try some hatching with a Next is cross hatching, and that's a lot like hatching, but you're just making some lines that cross over one another. So we'll do lines in one direction, and then we'll come back over them and put some lines that are going in a different direction, almost across those lines, and we'll just do less and less of those across lines, and less and less of the first kind of lines, to make it have a blended effect where it looks like it goes from light to dark. Next is stippling. I'm going to use a sharpie to show you what stippling is. You stipple, you just put the tip of the sharpie down or the tip of whatever material you're using and you can create a shaded area by doing lots of little dots in one spot and then less and less as you go to the area that you want to look lighter. So there is shading with stippling. And then there's blending. So blending is just taking a material, an oil pastel works really good, and then spreading it out so it goes from dark to light. So you have to first make a choice about what material you're going to use or what combination of materials and um, what process you're going to use to create a nice shaded look on your tree so that they look round. So I'm going to use all different techniques. I'm going to start off by outlining my first tree in Sharpie and I'm going to use the stippling technique. So I'm just going to go around the edge and if I go too fast and I leave any white space on the outside of my black line in between the colored and the black line then I have to go back and just color that in so for example if I had a spot like this where there's an empty white space I'm gonna have to go back and just make a thicker line here to make this look a little neater and I think I'll go ahead and do stippling on this tree so first I have to decide what direction my sun's coming in from I think I'll make my sun come in from this side. Since my light's coming from this side, these are going to be the light side on every tree and my shading's going to be on this side. So since I'm doing stippling, I'll go ahead and go down the line and make some dots. 
Then I'll make the area right next to the line even darker. I can go out away from my dark place and add a few random dots to make it look like a lightly shaded area. And then I could go back and add one section that's almost like less dots than this side, more dots than this side, so it's almost an in-between so that we have a nice um, shaded look where it doesn't look like an abrupt change, but it's, it's a nice gradual change. So now I have the look of the tree going being more round because it has a dark side and a light side. And if the sun was coming in from this side, then the tree would be lighter on this side and it would almost be in a shadow over here. So that's what the stippling is doing for us. So I'm going to try a different material and a different kind of shading on my middle tree. I think I'll switch to the colored pencil and I'll start by outlining it. Okay, when I'm finished outlining my tree, I can decide which method I'm gonna to use to show shading. I think I'll go with some hatching. Go back and do more hatch marks right on the edge to make it darker, and maybe a few long ones to give it a nice shaded look again that's really nice and gradual. Okay, I'll move on to my next tree. This time I think I want to use the oil pastel to do the blending, but I'm going to use a combination of materials. I'm going to use the Sharpie to go around the edge. Then I'll come in with oil pastel. So I'm just going to do a line, a thin line of oil pastel all the way down the side. And then just use my finger to rub. Try and stay inside the tree the whole time. That was really easy. Okay, so for my last tree, I will just go to the crayon because I haven't used that yet. Get my nice black outline. And since this tree's running off the page, I'll just do um, a little bit of cross hatching over here but I'm not gonna make it come very far in. I'll only see the lightest part of the cross hatching. Voila, we have four nicely shaded trees using different techniques of shading. You can use one technique the whole time, pick a favorite, or you can go ahead and use multiple techniques. It's totally up to you.